going on guys uh, just hanging out here sitting in the back of my truck in my driveway you know the normal but uh, no I uh, want to do a quick review on this I don't know I'll probably call it tactical organization panel for the back of my truck seat uh, some buddies and some viewers that have seen it briefly on the channel have asked uh, what brand it is and kind of where I got it at and just how I have it set up and uh, some of the molly gear that I have on it so just want to take a few minutes here and kind of show you how I have it set up and uh, just really show you guys how handy this thing is so you can see here that the rifle is fastened in by this velcro strap up here this mainly comes in really handy on long nights of coyote hunting because I'm not putting this in a case a hard case or a soft case I can just get back to the truck here one velcro strap in this thing uh, has never slipped out you can see the bottom there just rest right on the floorboard right on the floor mat so I'll take this off and kind of show you guys some of the molly gear that I put on this so this thing is just basically a panel here and what it does is it wraps around the headrest right here and then on the bottom it just runs around actually all the way around the front of the seat to the other side to hold it in place but you can see here it's just got all these molly loops on it so it's really functional really versatile you can set it up exactly how you want it you got a rifle holder here and then you've got another one back here that i don't utilize uh, it's pretty rare if I carry two rifles at a time, my shotgun doesn't set vertical in here. So if I'm coyote hunting, I'll have my rifle here and then I'll just lay the shotgun across the floorboard on the bottom. Hopefully this isn't zoomed in too far, but I'll just kind of show you guys how I have this set up. So I've just got a knife here in this location right here. I just have a, a pretty good flashlight right here. This is very crucial to me. Um, my background is a medic in the military and just family safety, all around hunting safety, safety in general, is having a first aid kit on you at all times or as often as you can. What I wanna show you here, and I'm not gonna break this down, but this thing is fully loaded uh, with the trauma kit and just a lot of necessities, a lot of things that you'll need in a med kit, a lot of things you'll find in a med kit. But one I want to point out is you always want to have your cross on your med kit. And the main reason for having the red cross or the identification tag on your first aid kit is say I'm driving by myself and I'm the one that gets in a wreck. Uh, anybody that comes up to my vehicle, uh, if they don't have a first aid kit on them, which is highly likely, they're going to look back here or hopefully see it or anybody that would look back here would see this outlay and if I've got one two and maybe a third one on here or just another one laying around they're going to know exactly which one to grab and point number two with the first aid kit is you always want this to be easily accessible so I put it closest to the door and then it is velcroed on by a hook and latch system on the back side and you don't want to secure this very tight. You just want to leave it with the Velcro. So you can run up, grab the handle, and just pull it straight away. And you can run wherever you need to with your first aid kit. You can see here there's other options to secure this on very tightly. But I don't want to do that. You want to make sure that this can be grabbed a hold of, yanked off, and you can take that wherever you need it. So that stays there, that never falls off. Right here, I just have quite a few different zip ties. Zip ties always come in handy, uh, just various situations. Right here, and I'll make sure and link all this stuff down below for you guys, but this whole back panel here, I think it was only like 19 bucks off of Amazon. I'll make sure and throw a link down below to that, but man, super cheap just to have all this functionality, all this storage. This right here is a Velcro pouch. And you can see kind of how deep that is. Down here, I've just got a bunch of different attachments, which are attachments like this right here. And another attachment here like this. 
just all kinds of different attachments there. This here is just a, a separate Molly attachment. I just got a few different things. I got a pair of pliers in there. Got a nice little handy socket and bit set. And that's all I have in there right now. That changes quite a bit. Just whatever I need, I can throw in there. This here, I've just got a couple different boxes of ammo. And what else do I have in here? Uh, a couple different types of 22, some suppressed ammo, subsonic, pair of gloves. Down here is a second pouch, just like the size of that one. In here, always need a good set of Allen keys. And what else? Duct tape, Gorilla tape. So just simple stuff. Uh, this changes quite a bit depending on what I'm doing, where I'm going. And then I have one other Maxpedition pouch. Show you under the seat. You see there, that one just Velcro's on. This one, I just throw a lot of different random stuff in. Right now, it should be a different magazine. Yeah, different mag for the 6.5 Grindle. I can fit a couple different mags right here. And then I can just throw different accessories down in the actual pouch. Really nice pouch there to keep underneath the seat. But that's that. You got a pouch there. And then you've got all this storage. You'll see this organizer as well as these different pouches that I'm using uh, down below in the description. Take a look at them there, see if you like them uh, for what they cost. Pretty handy to have and just great organization. For like 19 or 20 bucks for the back of the seat organizer, man, you just can't beat that. Provides tons of flexibility, organization, and uh, been really happy with it so far. Anyway, any questions on this, make sure and comment down below. You guys make sure and stay tuned for more. Got a lot more content coming out. As always, appreciate you guys being here. Happy hunting. Be safe. See you guys. Bye.